and welcome to my first vlog in my new house. It is 8.38 and today you're gonna get to spend the day with me. We're gonna get to spend the day together and I'm very excited. The first thing that we need to do is create a little grocery list because oh, I'm really excited to tell you about this, but you know the place that I work at, uh, we moved to a larger space. Before we, our limit was like 30 something kids, but now we can have up to like 50 something kids and we have 50 something kids, so it's definitely been a big transition, but I love it. I really, really do. Having this big open house welcome night for all the kids and their families and community members, pretty much whoever wants to attend can attend, uh, but it's tomorrow and I'm in charge of doing some of the grocery shopping for it because tomorrow's St. Patrick's Day, so I want to make this like green platter and yeah, I'm really excited about it. Okay, I'm gonna read you the list of everything that we need to get today. So we need to get green apples, cucumbers, broccoli, ranch for the broccoli, cream cheese and celery and peanut butter and bell peppers and green salsa. And I'm hoping to find some green chips. I don't know if I'll be successful in that attempt, but a girl can dream. And I need to get a platter or multiple platters to put all this stuff on. And then I need to get socks <laughs> because uh, you know how I said I'm gonna have like these little arts and crafts booths for the kids to do. So there's gonna be a sock puppet booth. So I already got some like googly eyes and pom poms and all that stuff. We just need the socks because that's kind of important for sock puppets. Then we're gonna have another thing where I painted like I have a fish head on the wall and then a fish tail and then a little fin and then the body we're gonna paint paper plates and then staple them to the wall as like the fish's scales. Also, my budget for today is a hundred dollars. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to stay below that budget, but I'm really, really gonna try. Okay, our first stop is green apples. Oh, we should get some green grapes. I didn't even think about that. Here we go! Got my groceries! I was really scared that it was gonna come out to like 200 bucks, but I was like, no, Gracie, girl, that is a very irrational fear. Um, it came out to $34.82, and I saved 76 cents, so that sounds like a deal to me. Um, but I didn't get everything there, I only got like the fresh stuff, the produce stuff, because I didn't want to get that stuff at Walmart because I'm not a big fan of their produce. Okay, here we are. Best place in town. Look, here's the socks. Look at all these socks. There's a lot of socks in here. Okay, I was kind of expecting the socks to be a little bit cheaper, but apparently I was wrong because they were $29. And so, okay, $29, 34 63 $63. Guys, guys, this is the best day of my life. I found green chips. I really hope they're good. I don't know which peanut butter to get. This one is like six bucks. Six bucks for freaking smashed peanuts. Hey, I don't really know what to do because these are the only type of platters that I seem to be able to find. Okay, are you ready for the grand total? Drum roll, please. I spent a I spent $105 total. So I went $5 over the budget, but that is $5 that I am willing to sacrifice for this cause. Look, that's where I work. I'll see you later, work. Okay, should I do a little haul? I'm thinking I'll do a little haul. Two things of green grapes. One big bag of green bell peppers. Two things of green celery. Or I guess they're just celery. <laughs> Six green apples. Two cucumbers. Broccoli, I love broccoli so much. Wait, I need to show you something. Look, it says I love broccoli. I really, really do love broccoli. This is how much I love broccoli. I love it so much that I have a shirt that says I love broccoli. We have our socks. These are some socks that were donated to me. So, thanks Jeff. Cream cheese for the bell peppers and then I'm gonna put some of this on it. Some ranch, guacamole salsa. Guacamole chips to go with the guacamole salsa. Guys, I'm really stupid. So, this says six boys crew. So, I... I don't know why, but it didn't click in my mind that there would be enough for like 12 sock puppets because you know, they come in pairs. <laughs> but for some reason, I just was thinking, oh, okay, so there's six, six singular socks in this pack. But then I realized as I took it out that there's actually 12 singular socks, which is enough for 12 sock puppets. So really, instead of getting like six, 12, 18, 24, we got like 48 socks. So, <laughs> that makes me kind of happy, but sometimes I wonder what's going on in my mind, or what isn't going on in my mind. Now, I'm going to go walk down the street, because I have more sock donations to pick up, which I think we already have enough socks, because I forgot that socks come in pairs, but 
you know what, you can never have too many socks. If there's too many socks, then I'll put them in the community closet for people to take. But I think we're gonna be good. I think it's all good. Walk in downtown. I got the socks. Socks have been, have been gotten. Look, I think this is just the coolest thing. I don't know why, I just really, I really like it. Really speaks to my soul. Okay, everybody, it is lunchtime for my Gracie household. We are having a bean and cheese burrito, some nut thins, and some cold pressed citrus immunity juice with purified water, orange, pineapple, mango, and coconut. Now, I am painting some plates. I have my bisque plates, then I have my glazes. What this is for, it's for a charity fundraiser thing for our town's library, because right now it's not in very good shape, so all the money raised is going to be going to growing it and expanding it, getting some resources, some classes, and some children's classes, which when I heard that part, it's really what got me on board to partake in it. The event is April 9th, I believe, and there's 17 different tables. Each table is being designed by a different individual, one of those individuals being um, and then each table is also based off of a different book. And so the book that I chose was The Very Hungry Caterpillar. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'll show you some pictures in a minute. But we were given this piece of paper with like a list of all the things that we needed to purchase for it. Um, I wanted to paint my own plates for this because I felt like that would just add a personal touch to it. So that is what I'm doing. I even found someone that lives like an hour away. I hired her to sew and create this beautiful caterpillar table runner and it turned out absolutely amazing so i'll show you that in a minute too because it's just it's wonderful then however much money i spend on the table half of that amount is going to be the starting bid for when it gets bid on on april 9th and i definitely spent a decent amount but i just i totally poured my whole heart and soul into this table i just i'm really honored that i get to be a part of this thing because i think it's it's going to be really good for the community and for the kids um so, I don't really mind, I'm happy to do it, but <laughs> one thing that really, really sucked was I painted my plates and I put them in the kiln, and then all of them, the color burned off. All 12 plates, the color burned off, and I was devastated, but then I was like, no, I can't let the kiln get the best of me. Also, it was my fault. I used the wrong wrong glaze. So I'm doing it again with the correct glaze and I'm gonna hope for a more successful outcome this time around. Is me and my table. Silverware, I don't know if you can see, they're like sticks and then that's the caterpillar table runner and the centerpiece and then I, these weren't necessary, I just thought they were really really cute so I couldn't resist buying them little fruit and vegetable shaped ramp kits. How cute is that? It totally goes with the book, too. Glasses I found on Etsy. They're the shape of the trees. And then, if you have any interest at all, uh, no pressure at all, but it would be greatly appreciated, I'll leave a link in the description that you can click to donate to my table. And I wouldn't get any of the money. The, the library would get the money. But, yeah. I finished some of my plates, and now I am walking to physical therapy because I'm so close. I can literally walk there whenever I want to. And <laughs> sorry, I got embarrassed, but it's the best thing in the world. Hey! 
out channel your inner YouTube yes yes oh it's probably get you a we're gonna make we're gonna make St. Patrick's Day uh, muffin cupcakes like it's gonna be a muffin but with icing so it's a muffin cupcake it's a muff cake follow me oh my god should I put nuts on it what'd you say <laughs> nuts we need green food people probably think I'm a creep <laughs> I'm gonna go around <laughs> with the camera <laughs> What's your name? What's your name, sweetheart? Where would it look if I just did this? I can't. Mom? <laughs> Mommy? Mama? Perfect. That was awesome. Some Hollywood acting. <gasps> Is that Asher? <gasps> no way. That might be Asher. Let's go check. Let's go check. No. Oh my gosh. No. Oh. That's not Asher. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> no, because it totally did look like Asher. Right? That's what I was... <laughs> he looked at me. He the was same like, oh. hair color. Yeah, yeah. When he turned around and looked at you. <laughs> no. Stop. <laughs> it's a good looking sunset. Look. <laughs> uh, uh. oh, look. Ah. Stop running! <laughs> hey guys! It's the next morning and it's also St. Patrick's Day, so let me show you my outfit real quick. Okay, so we have these little green hair thingies and these glasses and some leprechaun earrings and some green gloves and this jacket and this shirt and this skirt and these little socks that make me look like a leprechaun. And of course, this little thing that lights up. So, there is my St. Patrick's Day fit. I also made some St. Patrick's Day um, muff cakes. They're muffins with icing, so they are muff cakes. And then, remember how I said I was gonna do all that green food stuff? Well, I wanted to show you everything I made before I ended the video. So I made all these, and then this has grapes and apples on the other side. Here, let me open it. Yeah grapes and some apples and then some broccoli and then some bell pepper things and then this big thing of green chips and I'm gonna put the green salsa in these two things and yeah so um <laughs> I forgot to end the video last night but I'm ending it now and I'm kind of happy I'm ending it now because now I get to show you my St. Patrick's Day outfit thank you so much for watching I hope that you enjoy this was my first vlog in my new house and it felt really fun it felt really Fun, funky, and fresh. I will see you again soon. Bye!